Welcome back from the break, Rams. I'm sports anchor Olivia Landis here with the latest in Rams sports. The number 12th ranked Colorado State volleyball team looks to compete in its 21st straight NCAA tournament, beginning its trip in Palo Alto, California to take on Loyola Marymount. The announcement came Sunday evening on ESPNU where CSU and Loyola Marymount are expected to face off in the first round of the tournament tonight at 5.30 p.m., which it started, and 4.30 p.m. on Pacific time. The Colorado State women's basketball team put on a game to remember last night in Moby Arena against in-state rival Colorado. The Rams, who have not beat the Buffs since 2009, walked away with a thrilling 64-63 well-fought win. With just 13 seconds left to play and CSU trailing by one, junior guard Ellen Neustrom raced the ball up the court to put in a layup that placed the Rams ahead by one. CU answered back, though, when freshman guard Kennedy Leonard threw up a layup of her own against the glass, getting a bucket. The Buffs then jumped ahead by one with just over three seconds to play. After a timeout to advance the ball to their side of the court, the Rams threw it into Neustrom, where she put up a fadeaway jump shot that hit nothing but net. The Rams walked away with a much-needed win. Speaking of basketball, CSU alumna Becky Hammond has brought much pride to Colorado State through all of her success over the years. Hammond visited Colorado State earlier this year to share her story on what it takes to be at the top. I think it's important to dream big. For some, the path to success comes very easily. But for Becky Hammond and her journey to becoming the first female coach in the NBA, it was anything but simple. When Becky Hammond stepped foot into Moby Arena as a Colorado State Ram in 1995, she had no idea just how far the game of basketball would take her. I mean, I didn't really know I would do the things here at Colorado State that um, we were able to accomplish. Uh, but. You know, I, I talked to the girls earlier and I just said how, you know, like, I already lived my dream. Playing professionally, that was my dream growing up. Playing in the Olympics, that was my dream growing up. Um, so now this is just, it's like icing on the cake. I mean, it just keeps getting better. Hammond was never handed her success. Hard work was a part of her everyday life. It wasn't easy. There's multiple times, whether it be injuries or teams telling me no or I wasn't good enough or whatever and you just have to have this resiliency about you that says okay that's your opinion but I'm going to do this anyways and I, you know I'm going to make it impossible for you to cut me or I'm going to make it impossible for you to get rid of me um, and you just have to have um, this mental toughness that you just can't be shook. Those who know Hammond best are not shocked by her achievements thus far. Am I surprised? No because I mean everyone has their path and she talks about that, you know, be yourself, be your best you. And she's being her best her. And, um, and that should be what all of us do is to be our best selves. And um, you never know how far it's gonna, gonna take you, you know, I mean, to be able to touch as many lives as you can um, the way you're supposed to. Hammond's hard work has led her to the ultimate accomplishment, being the first female assistant coach in the NBA. Um, even now, you know, going into this, something that's never been done, you know, will I fail? Will I be successful? Like, and I think it's, again, it goes back to the voices in your head. Like, you can do this, and you've been prepared. You've been preparing your whole life for this moment. And now you just got to go out and put in the work and um, be you. CTV Sports, Olivia Landis. Hammond continues to thrive as a role model to many and will forever be remembered as one of the most successful athletes to pass through Colorado State. And to give you a live update on the CSU vs. LMU NCAA tournament, Loyola Marymount is currently up 2-1 to one against CSU and they're in the fourth set. Well, that's all I have for sports, but up next is entertainment with Gabe Pokras.